Good morning, everyone. When I first learned that I would be delivering the graduation speech or the valedictorian speech just to make it sound all grown up, I was a little bit worried. Not because I have a teeny bit of stage fright, but because I wasn't so sure what an all serious, rarely joking, and not at all sentimental guy like me has to do with such a sentimental day like today. Today is the day that we're going to bid farewell to Warm Springs. Today is the day that we're proudly announcing that we're no longer grade school kids. Today is the day that we're marching toward a great new journey together. A day like this is supposed to be sentimental. There's supposed to be some tears maybe, like how my mom was acting this morning when she was fixing my tie. She kept on saying, oh my God, my baby is graduating. Oh my God, you were only six pounds and 11 ounces when you were born. Imagine my 360 degree eyeball roll at that moment. So in the end, I told her it's okay to call me baby, but she definitely needed to stop all the face rubbing. <laughs> Since I wasn't so sure if I could properly convey all the sentimentality of our very first formal commencement ceremony in life, I went to my trusted advisory, aka the Warm Spring School hangout where about 100 of us are on. I threw out the question and asked those in the group to share their most memorable Warm Spring moments with me. I also turned to my other partners in crime, aka people who played on the same basketball courts with me, as well as people in the student council who helped organize so many fun and meaningful activities throughout the year with me. In my search for our shared memories and stories, I heard fun stories about each teacher and was amazed by our outpouring gratitude toward the teachers and staff. So starting off with Mr. Bass. Mr. Bass, you're humorous, loud, and you're so good at catching our attention when we went a bit wild. You kept us focused on what we needed to learn. <laughs> Ms. Brosnan, under your leadership, it was easy and effective to learn because you gave us a very orderly environment and provided us with super clear details to follow. Archie, we love it when you add so much drama to something ordinary and encourage us to find creative solutions when we face problems. <laughs> Ms. Gentry, your super high standards on academic achievement will help us become very successful in seventh grade. We definitely can't wait to advance in every subject. <laughs> Ms. LP, we love spending time outdoor doing fun art projects. Your kind, smart, and helpful guidance will help us beyond this year. <laughs> Ms. Oram, you taught us how to be organized in order to increase our efficiency. We also liked your straightforward and quick with communication style. <laughs> Ms. Yuhara, your humor adds color to our daily lives. Not only that, but you're fair. You set reasonable goals for all of us. <laughs> Ms. Wong, we love it how you calm us down with short periods of free time sprinkled throughout our busy days. You re-energized us so quickly. <laughs> Mr. Whiting is on leave, and every one of us in room 18 misses him deeply. He is caring, inspiring, hilarious, and witty. He reminded us not to be arrogant when we excel and not to be frustrated when we fail. We also appreciate our third, fourth, and fifth grade teachers, as well as the prep teachers, special ed, resource, and EOT teachers. You made learning so much more fun and interactive. Beyond the classrooms, the class of 2015 also shared countless sweet memories. We all ran so hard, or at least 
pretended to run hard in fall stampedes so that we could claim our delicious Otter Pops at the end. We love the interactive and eye-opening assemblies and family events Mr. Awada, Ms. Pedrotti, and the PTA brought to us. At science camp, we kissed banana slugs, climbed the rock wall, hiked in the dark, and danced till we dropped. Sixth grade PE was another main highlight in many people's memory. It was a great way to start our weekend. Toward the end of the year, we had fun in the ice cream social and hoped to win the biggest raffle prizes. The end of the year events always brought laughs. This year especially was even better. We had a cabana club swim party. Many of us also actively participated in fun activities such as twin days, scavenger hunt, trivia, bingo, etc. that were organized by the Almighty Student Council. They brought colors to our ordinary lives. And not to forget, we also quite enjoyed the super fierce competition for the canned food drive and other service activities. Last November, we donated more than 4,000 cans. That's what a world-class team like ours can deliver. So that probably broke the Warp Spring School record. During the weeks of searching for stories and memories, I heard excitement, appreciation, and happiness. The feelings that get us so thrilled about what's ahead of us. We can't wait for the summer to begin. We can't wait to meet new people and make new friends. We can't wait to have more dance parties and finally get our own cell phones. Dear parents, we deserve our own cell phones. Thank you. At the same time, we're also experiencing some anxiety and worry. Would our homework and exams get too hard when we accidentally fail our finals? Will we stay close and keep in touch with each other and support one another? How strict are the teachers and would it be easy to get in trouble? There are many questions spinning in our heads at the sentimental moment. And because of that, we can assure you that we'll be back. We'll be back to consult with you when we're lost and to share stories when we overcome challenges. We know you'll be here for us, our teachers, mentors, cheerleaders, and friends. And thank you for being here for us. Thank you. That was amazing. Let's give Ethan another.